Hello everybody! Today we'll have a look at resetting or restoring a password to a Windows account. Let's consider cases when you can't access other accounts on this computer or the operating system at all. Windows uses the SAM system to store and manage user passwords. All information inside is safely protected and it's not easy to extract it. However, very often you don't need to know the password. Just reset it and sign in without a password. Let's have a look at how you can do it. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The most well-known free utility for resetting Windows passwords must be Offline and T-Password and Register Editor. Find the link to the official web page in the description. This utility doesn't have a graphical interface, but still it's very simple and easy, and easy to understand. There is no graphical interface because it works from a boot disk, that is, without booting Windows. That's how it gets access to the password storage, because you can't reset the password from the running operating system. So, in order to start offline NT Password and Register Editor, go to the utilities webpage and select the Boot Disk tab. And download an archive for USB USB 1.4.0.2.0.1 zip files for USB install. As you can see, there is also an image you can use to create a bootable CD. Still, it seems to me that today it's easier to work with a USB drive. Extract the archive. These are the files for the bootable USB drive of the offline NT password and register editor. As you can see, it's just a selection of files that you use to create such a drive. Later, you'll use the drive to start offline anti-password and register editor to reset passwords. I recommend using WinSetup from USB for creating such a bootable drive. I'll explain my choice later. This utility is also free. Find the link to the official web page in the description. Download it, extract and run. Start the version meant for your version of Windows. I have Windows 64-bit. Insert a pen drive into the USB port of your computer. Select it in WinSetup from USB. Check the auto format and don't change anything else. Then check the function which makes us use WinSetup from USB. How to create a bootable USB drive. In offline anti password and register editor, we need the last one on the list, syslinux boot sector. If you use another option, the USB drive created with offline anti password and register editor will not work properly. Show the path to the folder containing the previously downloaded files USB 140201. Click Go, Yes, Yes, and wait until the bootable drive is created. OK. That's all. The bootable USB drive of the offline anti password and register editor is ready. Now let's move to the computer where you need to reset a Windows password. You can see there are several accounts there. All of them have passwords. To reset a password to the account we need, let's boot from the USB drive containing offline anti password and register editor. Booting a computer with this USB drive is the same as booting it with any other bootable drive. Connect the drive to the computer and set USB as the first boot device in BIOS or UFI. There is a special video about it in our channel, follow the link in the description to watch it. In the first blue colored window, press Enter. After that, the interface of offline and password and register editor boots. Please read carefully what it says. The author of this utility gives you no warranty and bears no responsibility for the possible damage it can make. To continue booting offline anti password and register editor, press Enter. Then read carefully what the utility says. It tells you what to do next, what options to choose, and what keys to press, depending on what results you want to get. 
Step 1. Select the number of the partition where Windows is installed. You could guess it by the size. In fact, until the last stage, the utility makes no changes to Windows, so if you made a mistake, you can just start the password reset process again. The utility determines the system partition itself and suggests that you should select it. The hint says 1. So type 1, Enter. Some technical data is showing. I press Escape to show the hint menu, which says you should press Enter to see the next line, press Space to see the next page, press Q to exit, and press R to view the remaining information. I press R. As a result, you'll see a menu where you have to select what you do next. I select the first item, Password Reset, as we are going to reset the password. 1. Enter. Step 3. Fixing the password or registry. Select the first item again. Edit user data and passwords. 1. Enter. As a result, the program shows the list of users, that is, names of accounts registered with this operating system. It suggests that you enter the RID number of the password you want to reset. Have a look at the chart. There is a username column which shows user accounts. Next to every account, the first column shows its unique RID number. Decide which one you need, type it into the special field, and press Enter. Now you can see the menu where you should select what the program will do to the user account. Have a look at this menu. In addition to resetting the password, you can unlock an account, change the account type to administrator, add a user to a group or remove user, and the exit option. I select 1, reset password, and press Enter. That's all, we're almost finished. Exit the program. Enter Q, press Enter. One more time, Q, press Enter. Agree to make changes by typing Y and pressing Enter again. Refuse to continue working offline anti password and register editor, N, which means no. Remove the USB drive or CD and restart the computer. When the system boots, you can see there is no need to enter a password to sign in as this user. Click Sign In. That's all. The password is reset. This way, you can reset a password to a user account if there is no access to such account at all. It's not the only free utility for this purpose. There are others such as John the Ripper, Aircrack NG, Rainbow Crack, OPH Crack, and so on. All that you've seen by now suggested resetting a Windows password. If there are several user accounts in one computer and you have access to one of them, then restoring access or finding the passwords to other accounts is also possible. However, Windows integrated tools can't help you because of local security policy. Nevertheless, you can use third-party apps to loan the password to other Windows accounts on this computer. For example, Alcomsoft Reactive System Password Recovery or LoveTrack 7. You can find the links to download these programs in the description. I should say at once that they are not free and the price is high, but they might be the best of the kind. I'm not going to make a detailed review of these programs, but I'll show you how to use them to see or restore a password to a Windows account. So let's begin. Start Alcomsoft Reactive System Password Recovery. The interface is extremely simple, and using it doesn't require any special knowledge. Options in the main menu will be enough to view passwords to all accounts. In the Login Password tab, you can see the data on the current account, name of the computer, username, permissions for auto, for auto logon, and a password hint. Clicking on the Recovered Hashes tab, you'll see the data on all existing user accounts on this PC. In my case, there are two of them, Irina and Valeri. Others are System, which is noted in the remarks. System Password Recovery shows you all the information about them. The RID numbers we already heard about, LM hash, NT hash, account status, password hints, and passwords. Everything is extremely easy. The program has a lot of functions, but we won't examine every option. For our purpose, even a few will be enough. Now the passwords are broken.
By the way, this utility has a free trial version. It has limited functionality and only shows two first symbols of an account password. Love Track 7. This tool is also available for free trial. It's limited by 15 days of use or by viewing information on 10 accounts. Now start the program. Select Password Audit New Visit. If you need to find out password to other accounts on this computer, just keep clicking Next. Select the operating system, local or remote machine, credentials type, audit type, reporting data to show, and so on. As you can see, I leave everything at default for an ordinary computer. As a result, the scanning process will start. In the end, the program will show the accounts it has found and the corresponding data on them. This information includes passwords as well. They will be shown in the column and DLM passwords. This way, you can get access to Windows accounts and their data even without knowing their passwords. If you need to know, in addition to the user account data, the user's browsing history for every browser, restore or deleted browsing history, view messages sent and received in social media, then I recommend a specialized tool – Hetman Internet Spy. In the description, I leave the link to the corresponding video and the download link. And that is all for now. Hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more if this video was useful for you. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!